Another day. Uh, yes. Another journey. I know indeed, right? How is <coughs> how's your aim? Well, uh, uh, not great in the middle of the night, but I, <laughs> I sometimes just sit down. No, <laughs> I say I meant uh, I meant your your snooker, your pool, or in this case, your billiards. Ooh, we're going to a billiard hall. That we are, sir. So, I made a thing. That's unusual for you. I know. You're like two in as many months or something. Yeah, right? yeah, it's a new thing. Um, I, it, it's, uh, it's what really, is it? It's a little is it a Wikipedia. Web app? Yes, it is a web app. It's is it a, a website. Yeah, What's the difference, Jake? Shut up. We're not, we're not doing <laughs> web apps because it's websites. Um, I would say it's an app. Uh, would you? Just, I, I an app with coin, content. Flip the coin. It's uh, it's an app. No, it's not. It's a site. Mm. It's 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 a Wikipedia article viewer. Okay. Which I realise is what Wikipedia does already. Yes. But this was more of an exercise in, in looking at like performance, like okay. page load time performance. But you think you can beat Wikipedia at a server side render, do you? I did. You did. Well, I, so this is the thing. I, so I was hosting on GitHub, so I was doing a client side render. <gasps> I know. After all you said, <laughs> it seemed like a nice, simple way to, to get into it. And I, so yeah, I was, I was serving it. Just you know, JavaScript down the wire. Then JavaScript's going, getting the content, and putting it on okay. the page. And I was seeing, you're looking at my official figures, 2.6 seconds for first render, okay, and uh, 4.7 seconds for content, which even at that point was faster than uh, Wikipedia's actual official site. No, oh. uh, but you know, I knew it could be better than that. Okay, what was in that first render? First render was just like the top toolbar that said like Wikipedia and a spinner. Okay, like, but but, you, but from a user's point of view, they've got something. They've so got they, something. they know they're yeah. on the way. Okay, yeah. and then I think it was four point seven seconds uh, till the, the actual Wikipedia article came down. So you've actually got to see a good couple of seconds there where you, you're spinning up, where you, you, like your app doesn't seem to be like it's idle essentially. Yeah, yeah. I know you're pulling your sad face, but don't worry, no, that's pulling, not the I'm end pulling of the story. a mulling face. I'm mulling over. Okay, okay, so, well, you know, pulling your mulling face. I will actually. I can tell you what I did to, to fix it. There's a happy better than my other face. Is you, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I made the made the JavaScript async. Okay. And put some markup on the page for that first render. Yes. And I inlined the CSS for that first render. Good. Uh, normal. Yeah. All normal. Well, you say normal. When I first heard that rule, it's like, oh, take some of your CSS out and put it in the head. I was like. Oh, that's a that's a big ask for developers, whoa, really. Whoa, big what? You said big ask. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. You know, it's, a big ask. Not, it's, it's a request, pal. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, I hate You've it. You've become people, that person. You've become when that people person. say that. Yeah. Next oh. up, you'll be asking to reason about things or using I, modulo. To reason about. I hate that one because it is just developers not wanting to say they don't understand. I actually do like modulo, but. Yeah. So. I do agree that it's too hard to async load CSS. This is something that yes. we have a problem with on the platform, yes. right? I so actually my, tried it. It's rubbish. Yeah, we've got load CSS from the filament group, mm. uh, but it's it's a bit it's quite it's more script than you should need. It should just be async on the link. Yeah, element. it should be declarative. Yeah, but more moreover, I think what Firefox and IE do at the moment is actually really good. It's a bit of non-standard behavior, but I really like it. Put the link element on the page uh, in the body mm -hmm. just before the content that needs it, Ooh. and it will block. The Ooh. rendering, wait for it, it'll block the rendering of the subsequent content until that CSS loads. It's not blocking all page rendering. Okay. okay. It's just the elements after don't go into the render tree. Okay, fair enough. We should do that. Yes. That's the, we should take that on. And we should also have async as well. Okay, so, right. So, so here yeah, we where are. am I? Okay, we had a parallelizable that. thing uh, last I understood of where you had the JavaScript that went off to get the Wikipedia page, and yep, I'm saying yep. that's bonkers. And so, yes, I came to the same conclusion. I thought this needs server rendering. Wise man. Yep, thank you. Let's, let's do a yeah, cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers to server, server rendering. rendering. Yeah. Well, this is the nerdiest chair that ever went up. <laughs> so like, looking at my calculations, once I introduced server rendering, things got slower. Right. My, That's actually, a bit annoying. My, my content render actually sort of came down a little, a little bit, not much, but my first render skyrocketed. Why? It was slower because connection goes off to my server. Yes. My server goes off to Wikipedia. Gets the data, comes back, oh. constructs the page, sends it on. You're looking at a white screen for longer now because you've got the bottleneck of yeah, your third-party service. <laughs> but it was, it was it, you know, by taking that just the uh, the JavaScript CSS, the basic page shell, yeah, down to 0.1 seconds, like as good as instant, yeah, for for that first render because it's all offline. And but here's an interesting thing that happened: is my content render went because I'm now back to doing client-side rendering. Yeah, content render's gone up again. 
Because it's, even though it's coming from the cache, there, were there was two problems. There's one that it was the, the request to Wikipedia is a little bit delayed because it has to pass the JavaScript to Wikipedia. To, Wiki da, da, to Wi Wikipedia. <laughs> it's delayed. I like so, that. Yeah. It's almost like a. I didn't do that on purpose. Really? Um, but yeah, so, so I cut that delay by as soon as the request went to the service worker, had the service worker go off and yeah. get fetch the stuff for Wikipedia. Oh, okay. So how do you how do you then? Because you still want to send your response back with the the app shell stuff. Yep. But what you're talking about there is chunked encoding. Ah, okay. So this is the the, the art of being Never able to you know, so being able to to quickly send data back like without knowing your whole page content. So so I was able to send back like the header and the the, the first render stuff essentially. Mm -hmm. So now the browser knows about the extra CSS and JavaScript it needs. Meanwhile, or like at the first possible opportunity, my server's gone off to Wikipedia and it's yeah, okay. gathering that. Yeah, yeah. And then as it arrives, it just streams it through, and 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 that. Slash the rendering time. We got Two. down to well, so we were at 1.4 seconds for first render, and uh, <coughs> when I get the uh, official figures up, <laughs> so that uh, <laughs> that was it, it down to 2.4 seconds for the content, and that's like okay. a two-second saving compared wow. to JavaScript. That's good. Cool. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty huge. And you can't really get any better than that, can you? Oh, you can, sir, by using a little technology you might not have heard of before. <laughs> Service worker! Oh, yay. But yeah, as soon as you take the content, the, the page shell offline, that's it. You can get to that first render in like yeah. 0 0.1 seconds. Like, okay. The measurement came out. But it's, it's instant, really. Yeah. Um, but it, it, was, it took 9K of the content down the wire. And once I had that, wrote it to the page. Okay. And then wrote again once I had the rest. And it was a total hack to do that. Mm -hmm. And this is why my next wish for the internet, for the web, the web standard, is streams. Because I want to be able to just take some content that we're downloading pipe it into an element, and it appears as it. And I think once we have that, yeah. that kind of rendering as it goes along, I think that's when we can see client-side rendering apps become competitive with server rendering I will apps. drink to that. Cheers.